Taiwan was named Formosa by the Portuguese when they arrived to this island nation. And today on Logan Lee Adventures, we explore Taraco National Park, a true pride for the country that really puts the Formosa into its historic name. This park has 27 peaks over 3,000 meters and almost all of Taiwan's biogeographical zones are represented here along with half the island's plants and animal species. Welcome to one of Asia's scenic wonders. This is so crazy. I went to top off that dumpling meal with bubble tea but I got a size of extra large because I figured how large could extra large be because there's only a few more cents and literally, can I fit this into the whole frame? Look up, okay, the size of my head. This is bigger than the size of my hand right now. This is the Eternal Spring Shrine and it is named so appropriately because just probably one of the most stunning and beautiful pieces in this country. Okay, so you can see that there's a gorge right behind me in the National Park and this gorge is called the Tarako Gorge and you can see also a suspension bridge and this is the start of our Zulu Old Trail Road hike and so this hike is part of an originally built as a hunting path by the indigenous Truku tribes people in the early 1800s we went through many hoops to even be able to hike on this Zuilu Old Trail. So a Taiwanese emergency contact was needed. A local police permit used to be needed, but luckily the rules has changed on that. And then we had to get an ecological protection area entry permit to access this trail right here. And for environmental reasons, the numbers of hikers are limited to only 96 hikers per day. And luckily we got our permit in time because if you're interested in doing this hike you need to apply early and on time we applied actually we were really lucky we applied only about two weeks in advance but I just checked yesterday and every single slot for the upcoming week has been completely full up all right we're starting our hike it takes about three to five hours but knowing me with all the boba tea that I've had in the past few days two a day probably gonna be more like five hours or six hours but we are starting oh the suspension bridge is bouncy Hussy, this has been like your dream for you've been to Taiwan like what like five years ago five years ago and then you saw this bridge but you couldn't get access to it Did you need a permit for some reason <laughs> because it requires skill and environmental reasons <laughs> to limit traffic on this bridge. And now we're actually, ooh, look at the gorge! Wow, we're actually on here now, five years later for you. Exciting. After a very, very steep beginning, we are onto a suspend, another suspension bridge overlooking the same gorge. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath, but this is also absolutely breathtaking in itself. The views of the mountains, the clouds settling above on top of its peak, and the gorge itself. Look at that drop. Thank you. 
Oh my gosh, like one slip and you're like falling all the way so down. I really have to grab onto this rope. Oh, my heart is like beating so much right now. Oh. Or to jump on me. Wow. He's looking at me. It's five fingers. Oh yeah, very long fingers. Very long toes too. Roots is nice. Yeah. <laughs> The landscape just shifts so much. Even this little cave tunnel made up all from rocks is so cool on this hike. There's always something to see from the wildlife here. So just watching out that we don't trip and fall all the way down here. Woo! So look at the mountains in the distance. Always watching over us. Look at this view! Oh my gosh! This is so worth it! Oh the sweat, the tears. Oh my gosh, look at this. Incredible. So where we're walking right now, holding tightly onto the rope behind us, is the Zhui Liu Cliffs. So this is the cliff side and it's really, really steep. And as you can see, it overlooks all this passageway in the National Park. And so the thing about the historical piece about this is that Back then, the Japanese colonizers, when they came to take over and colonize Taiwan, this was a main piece of the colonization. But the orig uh, Aboriginal people, the indigenous people here, the tribes of the Turku, was throughout all of these mountain passageways. And as they, the Japanese colonizers moved through the mountain passageways, they took over village by village, and then eventually, they needed this whole trail. So when they captured this side of the mountain, they actually got the people, because they didn't have the knowledge of how to expand this little ridge. So they got the people, well, enslaved the people, to <laughs> make the ridge bigger. And slowly, like after like lots of work and deaths, they made this ridge bigger and bigger, but it's still really tight here. I'm walking very slow, tiptoeing my way through this amazing scenery. We made it! And it only actually took us two hours. Well, now we have to go back. But, you know, we made it! Now to celebrate with the view of the Swallow Grotto. Look at those luscious blue water. Now this is how you do a post hike meal. So each one has 10 dumplings and you do the math. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven crates here of dumplings, of my favorite dumplings in the world place ever in Huyalin City. So that means 70 dumplings, 70 dumplings divided by me and Yurun equals oh, a lot of dumplings in my stomach and then dip it in this delicious sauce that is a little bit garlicky, a little bit of everything. Oh my god, oh my gosh, savage. Hot off the press. Oh my god. The soup from the little dumplings from the pork fat being cooked, melting into my mouth, and then the dough just like it like just disappears and melts into my tongue. Oh, it is everything. I'm so happy. This is so crazy. I wanted to top off that dumpling meal with bubble tea, but I got it in a size extra large because I figured how large could extra large be because it's only a few more cents. And literally, can I fit this into the whole frame? Look at okay, the size of my head. This is bigger than the size of my head right now. 
look at this. And I'm telling you, like, there's a lid here, but it goes all the way to the top. I don't even know how we're gonna get the tapioca bottles in, like, with the tea. <laughs> the drawer is actually extra long too. As you can see, it will reach the bubbles. Because look at the look at the top. I just put this draw in. <laughs> Road trip through Taiwan continues. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> A road trip down the coast of Taiwan always means seafood, especially if they're fried. It makes it even better. Yum, 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 yum. Are you on your jacket? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But on the top, I would say this is summit, unless it goes further up. But this is the top of Taroko National Park. And this is the national park that runs through the center of Taiwan and is kind of the piece de resistance of the country like this is a place where you, everybody who visits taiwan must come and visit but we drove this long road all the way up 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 and i think still maybe this is not the summit because it actually still goes further up so down below it was 31 degrees celsius now up here it's a little chilly because it's 12 degrees celsius up here Back on the road, we're at how high we are? Like three kilometers away. Three kilometers high, to be precise. Exactly. <laughs> 3,070. Oh, right. <laughs> and this road, I'm telling you, it is bendy, curvy, and if it wasn't for these well made guardrails, I'd be so scared. Look, we still are driving all the way to Mordor. 10 degrees Celsius now. My hair is like a rooster. But look at this view of the national park from up here. Holy, what a difference it is from the coast and being from down below at sea level to now all the way up here in the mountains. Put on my jacket now because it is really chilly. It's like less than 10 degrees now but what a view but <sighs> oh, they're so cute huh? they're eating too he is eating the berries from the I hope you're enjoying our Taiwan adventure so far, but don't go anywhere yet. Give this video a like, tell us what you think about our journey to the east below, and subscribe if you haven't already because we got more Taiwan adventures to take you to in the next video.